To modify a roof type means to modify the construction or the properties of a roof. To do this, you can either select on an existing roof, or you can start drawing the roof and then modify the types while you're inside of the roof command. Let's start this process by being inside of the roof command. On the architecture tab, select on roof. It will ask, where do you want to draw the roof? Level 2 is fine, so just select on Yes. Then underneath Properties, we need to select the roof which we want to modify the type for. So on the Type Selector list, let's change this to be a wood rafter 8-inch roof. And what we'll do is we'll modify it so that it's a wood rafter 10-inch roof instead. So begin by selecting on Edit Type. Selecting Edit Type opens up the Type Properties dialog box. Now I don't really want to change the wood rafter 8 inch. I'd like to remain that as a roof type. What we need to do is instead duplicate the existing wood rafter 8 inch and make a wood rafter 10 inch instead. So select on Duplicate and then change the 8 inch to read 10 inch. I've also found that when you make a duplicate of your roof type, Oftentimes, it'll put a number at the end, such as a number 2 or a number 3. Just delete that number off of the end of the name. Then click on OK. By changing the name from 8 inches to 10 inches, it did not change the structural properties of the roof. It just created a new type of roof that happens to have the exact same structural properties as the previous roof. Now, to change the structure, we need to edit the structure. So select on the Edit button to open up the Edit Assembly dialog box. Here we can see where it has Structure, and currently it's at 7.5 inches. Let's change this to be 9 and a quarter inches. So the structure will be made out of 2 by 10s. Once that's changed to 9 and a quarter inches, we can also see here where we have our total thicknesses. The total thickness is now going to adjust. All we need to do is click in one of these other boxes. And we can now see that it's 10 and an eighth inch thick. Come down here and click on OK. Click on OK. Now the next thing we need to do is start to draw in this roof. So to do that, we'll keep it very simple by just selecting on the Rectangle tool and then drawing in a rectangular shape just about the same size as the other roofs. This will be a flat roof unless we change it so that it can slope up. So to match the slopes of these other two roofs, Hit the Escape key a couple of times on your keyboard, select this line, and then put a check mark in Properties to define roof slope. Do the same thing for the lower line. Click on the line, and then define the roof slope. And now, click the big green check mark on the ribbon at the top of the screen. If you click over here, we can now see that we have a new roof, and this is your wood rafter 10 inch roof. It happens to have the same structural properties that we just defined. And we can see this if we go to Edit Type, select on Edit Structure, and it has the 9 and a quarter inch thickness. To really see this, let's click on OK, and then OK again. Next. On the Project Browser, underneath Floor Plans, open up Level 2. Now we can only see part of our roofs because of where the cut plane is located at. This is the new roof that we just created, and we should put a section right through this roof so that we can see the individual materials that make up the roof. So select on the View tab on the ribbon, click Section, click once, then click again to create a section through the roof. Once that's been drawn in, make sure that the section symbol is highlighted by just clicking on it, and then right click and select on Go to View. Now initially, it's difficult to see that we have any layers of materials, and that's because of the detail level associated with this view. So if we select on the Detail Level button and change it to a fine level of detail, we can now zoom in. It's still difficult to see the different layers of material that make up the roof, and that's because of the thickness of these lines. So to help with that problem, once again, underneath the View tab on the ribbon, turn on Thin Lines. That will allow you to see the individual materials that make up the roof. And then zoom in on the roof by spinning the wheel of your mouse. And here we can see one, two, three layers of materials. 
And that corresponds if we select on the roof and then click on edit type and edit next to structure with the different thicknesses for each of the materials that make up our roof. And finally, to get out of this, we can click on OK and OK and then zoom back out again by just spinning the wheel on our mouse to see our final roof structure.